Welcome to another episode of Farm Like a Hero, folks, with me, Richard Perkins. My guest today is Sandor Leroy, who runs the Gruntenborum, which is an element of Hoover Beastland, which is a large mixed biodynamic farm in Holland. And the farm's located in the Polder, which is the region between the cities of Rotterdam, The Hague, and Delft. And it's a much larger farm with dairy and meat cows, sheep, bakery goods, butchery, as well as a busy farm shop. And Sanders producing and delivering vegetables there, uh, which he distributes as vegetable boxes, as well as supplying the farm shop and restaurants. Sander came by our farm on a trip in the past, so we meet again here. And thanks so much, Sander, for taking the time to be with us today. Thanks uh, for uh, inviting me. Great. Yeah, it's great to have you. So your story is an interesting one because you have essentially set up an enterprise within someone else's farm. And I'd really like to get into that because I think that's a really relevant story for a lot of young people going into farming. But maybe we could go back a step and can you explain how you got interested in farming in the first place? Did you come from a farming background or? I'm the first one in, uh, in, my, in my family who, uh, who started uh, in farming. And uh, the interesting uh, two farms started, I think, a long time ago. Um, in my younger days, as a as a child, uh, my parents had gardens, so that was, I, I think, that was the first step. And then I became older after different kinds of of, of studies uh, and different kind of jobs. I noticed I have to be more outside. And um, the interesting, the interest of food came up uh, years ago, uh, just walking through the supermarket, see what, what is laying on the shelves and uh, reading the, the packages and getting a little bit depressed of all the ingredients, what's inside them. Uh, it was more for me, more interesting to know where is the food really come from? Mm. And besides that, I also tried to find a new study uh, to educate myself, to, to learn more. And uh, then I... I came up as an internet site and it was a school, the Warmonderhof. It's a biodynamic uh, school. And I went to an open day and actually I fell in love with farming, I think. That's quite a well-known school in Holland, isn't it? With a lot of international students coming there, is that right? Yeah, yeah it's, the, it's the only school in Holland uh, for biodynamic agriculture. I think uh, German don't even have one school like that uh, and there's one in Belgium but it's a it's not like a really school I think I think they're more like big courses so what was that course you studied there was it focused on vegetable production or were you exposed to other forms of farming as well at that point um, it was focused actually on the whole system um, it started with vegetables but also with uh, cows um, and dairy farming um, bees, chickens, ducks, actually a whole farm, um, actually like Richdale, it's like what you build up, it's like all the aspects, it's our aspects in the whole study. And then what happened from there, like I imagine you're in a similar situation to most young people, I think the land prices in, in Holland are astronomical, right? So was it clear that you wanted to start farming after that and, and how did you take the next steps? Um, it depends where you live in Holland, how high. The prices of land are quite high, uh, but you can rent land uh, long term. That's a possibility. Uh, but then it's not becoming yours. And probably you can rent it for 10 years or 15 years, mm -hmm. and then maybe it stops. Um, and for me, it was also... I was just all that why I was a little bit scared to start immediately with my own land uh, and I got the opportunity uh, to start on someone else's land and start learning from that yeah from that perspective to listen in to unedited long form conversation I'm super excited to announce the farm like a hero experience is now live our 2020 special features more than 70 interviews with Europe's best regenerative farmers in long-form conversation, weekly Q&A sessions with myself, as well as the private Facebook community. Our Epic Hero membership is now only open until June the 11th, so join now at farmlikeahero.com and we'll see you in there.